Hello and welcome to a hopefully useful um, episode of Mark Fixes Stuff. This is going to show you how to save to a virtual tape or a .tap file in ESX DOS which is available on Zaxxon's DivMMC, Benvestig's uh, DivMMC Enjoy, um, again Zaxxon's Pico Div SD, all of which are fine things which I've reviewed on my channel. And this is just going to show you how to create a uh, virtual tape in a tap file. So say you were writing a program like 10, um, see print uh, MFS, MFS, and quote, enter, and then 20. You're probably way ahead of me here. Go to 10, hit enter. So that would just print MFS down the screen and then go scroll. Want to scroll so NAF program but say it's a masterpiece that we've written and we want to save it then we can very simply using DOS we press symbol shift and press N to get um, a full stop which then gets us away from pressing the keys and getting tokenized keywords sorry slight jump cut there because the wife came down the stairs so uh, yeah you press the symbol shift M to get a full stop which will take you out of tokenized keywords by pressing the keys. And then you type tape out. So you're um, going out to a tape and then a space and then some name dot tap. So you would put, we'll put rubbish dot tap. Um, notice that it's eight characters. Um, ESX DOS doesn't actually support long file names at the moment. Uh, I imagine it's something they'll probably fix. But then again, long file names do take a lot more memory. So maybe it's not something they're looking to fix. Who knows? Tape out the rubbish.tap, hit enter. Okay. Now, if we go list, we'll see that our stuff's still in memory. And we can go save. Okay. And we'll call it, um, mm, let's see, crap. Enter, start tape and press any key. Now the tape, the virtual tape will start automatically. So press enter there. Now looking at the div SD, um, actually flashes to show that it's writing. So um, how do we prove that that's worked? Well, I'll tell you, we're gonna pull the actual power out the back of the unit. So now there's nothing in memory. Okay, it has to be stored in the SD card. So there's nowhere for that to hide apart from on the SD card. So I plug that back in, it's detecting the devices, everything's okay as you can see on the screen. Okay, now, one thing that I should mention, you should really go to the correct path for where you want to save your .tap file. Because I just gave it a name, it's going to default to the bin folder on the SD card, which is where the, de uh, the device stores its commands. Um, so just bearing that in mind, we're going to, rather than type the reverse of tape out, which is .tape in file name and then load, we're going to press the NMI button and we are going to browse for that, oh hang on, it'll be in bin, which is at the top. Enter, and we'll go down and find their rubbish.tap, which is where I accidentally <laughs> put it. But you get the drift. I mean, all the uh, file conventions are pretty straightforward. So it's immediately loaded program crap, which we saved before. Okay, and if we hit the R key for run, hit enter, there we go, there's our program. Um, we didn't need a tape in sight. So I'm not sure if this has been helpful or not. A lot of people just use their um, SD devices for playing games, but you can actually use it as a save device if you're running ESX DOS. So this is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff signing out. Tell you to subscribe to get your fix for more little tidbits like this. And I'll see you all again really soon in another exciting episode. Bye.